everyone. I am Dr. Sophia Rodericks, obstetrician and gynecologist uh, in Manipal Hospital. I have been working for the past 15 to 18 years in this field. Uh, so, gynecology and obstetrics is a field where we basically deal with all women and women health. With regards to this, I always wanted to be a doctor right from first standard and it continued uh, as a passion because consistency, dedication and effort is all that is required in any profession. I believe in any profession you need to shine out and be the best whether it is a gardener, whether it is an architect, whether it is a doctor, whether it's an engineer and there are so many fields uh, now during our time it was only medicine that we knew, engineering that we knew and few other fields here and there and nobody else exposed us to various career options. For medicine, we had to plan out what exactly we need to first choose. For any uh, field for that matter, you need to know your objective uh, and plan out your course of action right from the beginning. So my dad was my role model here and uh, we had to choose science stream for medicine. So all medical related fields, whether it is uh, medicine, pharmacy, nursing, uh, all these require science as the baseline stream to be chosen in, in 11th and 12th. First of all, you should know what you want to become because many a times children are confused what they want. Always keep a plan A, B and C. Like for example, in my case, I always thought that I want to become a doctor but it's not necessary that what you want you will always get. And so my dad said, please keep an option B and C and I was like, no dada, I don't want to become a dentist, I don't want to become anything else but a doctor. But then yes. Reality is something different and what you want is something different. So you should always have something of your liking and a choice. Keep a career which is having plan A, plan B and plan C because if you don't get the required marks uh, and you don't get what you want to do, you try maybe one year but if you don't get it, don't get depressed and psyched about it. Please choose plan B and plan C. It is about caring and loving others. Always the joy that we spread to others gives us that ultimate happiness and a conscious at the end of the day that I get very good sleep at the end of the day, that I have done good to others. When you do good to others, there are blessings that come from so many people. And that is something which I wanted to touch every human being, whoever I am able to talk to in my OPD, in my practice, uh, it is not a profession for me, it's a passion and I really enjoy doing this job because even on my birthday or any other days where people take an off, I will still love to come to this place uh, because being a doctor was my passion and please do what you love to do and not because others say you need to become this or just because you know your parent might be in a particular profession and needs to pick you up in that profession. Please don't choose because others are saying this, choose because you want to do it. So after 12th, uh, we directly uh, go into various courses. Nowadays it, it is changed, there are neat exams, there are various entrance exams. But during our time, that's in 2000 when I took admission, uh, it was a little different. It was based upon your 12 standard marks. Uh, of science then we took admission in Goa Medical College um, that time we never traveled beyond Goa so there were 60 seats at that point of time uh, for a general and special category in Goa and there were around 10 seats for all India category 
so we had to answer our 12th standard science exams board exams and that was on on which basis we were qualified for but now it is a little different unless there is no passion you will not enjoy your work so it it is possible that there are so many emergencies in in medicine uh, it could be day night sunday holiday and anything else we do enjoy it there are people who cover us up for that uh, like our own colleagues in the same field can always cover up for if there is an emergency on a holiday or on a day that you are off uh, a day at work typically starts at 9 and set 5 o'clock you are not basically employed employed as by an employer it's like you can even start your own clinic you can start your own hospital it's a choice that each one makes uh, whereas other professions like a banker you are dependent on an organization for your work for your salary and for your needs the same way the timings also are dependent on you when you become your own employer the timings the places that you go to visit everything depends on you you can choose your days time places that you visit people that you see appointments that you take uh the skills that are required i would say a lot of patience a lot of love and a lot of understanding that is emotional skill but the other professional skills there are two types of fields in medicine itself they are paraclinical and clinical clinical is basically one on one to patients we are dealing with patients and these are basically surgical skills in a surgical field like obstetrician uh, like uh, gynecology like surgeons uh, whereas there are some non clinical fields these include physicians general physicians pediatricians uh, microbiologist pathologist this all are uh, the last two which i said are paraclinical which is not directly patient to patient so basically they can be divided into three categories that i would say uh, surgical non surgical and uh, paraclinical so these three categories are there broadly divided into medicine career options in gynec obstetrics per se uh, there are various things like infertility uh, evaluation for an ivf consultant we can have laparoscopy that is laser surgery now we even have robotic surgery that is coming then there is a uh, contraception counseling or family planning counseling that we tell then general gynecology and uh, obstetrics which can be normal deliveries and high risk pregnancies so these are the broad categories in gynec itself besides that there are many other fields like uh, as i mentioned before uh, in paraclinical fields there are microbiology there is a pathologist uh, there are uh, neurologists there are physicians there are pediatricians there are gynecologists so many other so many other fields in medicine per se i think it's more than 30 plus branches which are there and now there are super specialization so just of pediatrics there will be pediatric surgery just of gynecology there will be uh, you know j uh, people like urogynecology so many fields each each has a sub specialization people are sub specializing in those fields what do i love most about my job it's very simple why i chose gynec i always wanted to do something with kids initially it was pediatrics that i had thought of but the next best option would be to deal with children that is gynecology and obstetrics the simple reason because most patients go with diseases all other streams 
somebody is going for fever somebody is going for stroke somebody is going for heart attack they are all going with diseases to another doctor because they are a patient but here they are not a patient to me it is a mother who is coming and we are giving its new life that is born so this is the only field where you will see a patient coming and going happy it's like a source a bundle of joy a happiness that we are giving it's the only field where nobody is coming with a disease it's a source of happiness and joy and that is what uh, you know it made me choose obstetrics going in denial mode i feel we should learn to accept the likings of a child whether it is music whether it is sports whether it is whatever and develop that particular sport or that particular talent of the child right from a very young age there are ways to do it the parent has to take interest even in schools many parents don't know teachers don't know so career options i feel should be put at a very very young age right from 6th and 7th standard only when your mind knows is when you will go and look out for it and